everyone, welcome back for another tutorial on our B-Ball Index Leaderboards tool. This time we're taking a look at the Player Profile tab, which is the place to go if you're looking to grab information on one specific player and you wanna see a lot of info at once. You can go to Leaderboards, you can pick up to five stats, same thing with the Year Over Year tab, Risers and Fallers tab, Player Comparison tab, you know, lets you see a bunch of information for multiple guys. The Player Profile tab is the place I go to when I wanna pull up information on a specific player. And I'll show you why, and I'll show you how it's a bit different from these others. So just as with the player comparison tab, you can select our player down here, select the season for them. We can choose from any number of uh, set categories of statistics. I'll say we wanna take a look at playmaking for Donovan Mitchell this most recent season. Just as before, we can display information as values, percentiles, or grades. If we just do values, it's gonna spit out values. Assist points, you know, that means something to me. Passing versatility, this is Z-score, doesn't really mean anything to me. So I'm gonna take a look at grades instead, or we can look at percentiles. When you pick between percentiles or grades, you're gonna see something interesting happen. And what we see here is that there are now four columns that are displayed. We have Donovan Mitchell that season compared against all players. So these are the, these are the letter grades you're gonna see if you pull a static grade in the leaderboards tab. This is against everybody in the database, not just this most recent season. Then we take a look against rotation guards. So players in the top 10 in minutes per game for each of the 30 teams this most recent season. See what that, see what that looks like. Um, or not this most recent season, all seasons. We can take a look at rotation primary ball handlers, which happens to be Donovan Mitchell's offensive role. And you can see how he compares there. And then rotation helpers, his defensive role. Now, we pick playmaking. We don't really care as much about the defensive role. So we can go to column visibility, click on rotation helpers, and that's out of there. We don't need that anymore. And then we can go ahead and take a screenshot if we want, tweet this out, share this with our friends. And we've got Mitchell, you know, versus all players. He looks really, really good. If we go against just rotation guards, the volume isn't all that hot and the versatility is quite poor. Against primary ball handlers, we see how his volume is really low and his versatility is also really low. Now, those to me, if I'm interpreting this, I see low volume, I see low versatility, but I see high quality, okay, efficiency. This isn't someone that I'd say is ideal to be having in a primary ball handler, like lead playmaker kind of role for a team, unless you have a really strong system in place schematically. And that's what Utah had this past year. That's why we're able to see him get that high quality and, and you know, along with this high scoring gravity, end up with a decent playmaking talent grade. Um, but this is a good way to compare players to their peers really quickly with these smart filters that we have built in. Why don't we pull percentiles instead? So for finishing, we can see again, Mitchell against all players, guards, primary ball handlers, helpers. Just with the player comparison tool, we can also filter down and take a look at uh, our summary stats. So these tend to be one stat per area. You can go to full data and take a look at everything we have to offer. And this is just for finishing. Look at how many stats we've got just for finishing. Um, so there are different layers of, you know, depth that you can choose from as you're selecting what you want to be pulling up for any player. This is for one guy at a time, but you would go here if you want to really quickly apply those smart filters and see how they're performing in various areas. If we go ahead and, and take a look at like his perimeter defense, this would be an area where it would be good to see how that defensive role looks I don't care as much about the offensive role. So we can get rid of the offensive role. Among helpers, he's a pretty good on-ball defender. Among guards in general, most of them tend not to be helpers. His on-ball defense isn't so good. So this is this is how you can take a look at this, interpret it, share it with your friends, and uh, you know analyze it for an audience. That is all on our player profile tab. We'll see you next time.